In this video blog, we're going to look at when and why using the optimizer in the TI compiler is a good idea. We all have that one friend. We love him, but really, he can mess up a two-car funeral. Here's our buddy Fred now, compiling his do-it-yourself project. And the first thing we notice, Fred doesn't use optimization when he compiles. So what is Fred doing wrong? What is optimization? Well, optimization is a series of data flow analysis and transformations such as dominator analysis, dead code elimination, global value numbering, Latinus. Oh, okay, so that's boring. No wonder Fred, who's got the attention span of a bird, doesn't know what it is. So let's simplify. Optimization makes your code work better. Okay, so that's good. When do we use it? Well, don't use optimization if you don't care about your executable, how big it is, how fast it runs, how much energy it burns. Do use optimization if you're trying to do a good job, if you want your executable to be smaller or faster or more energy efficient. Okay, so how do we use it? On every TI compiler, it's simple, minus capital O. So Fred's compile command could have been made so much better with two characters, and that really will work. And if that's all Fred does, he'll probably get a better executable, look smarter, be more popular, etc. But the TI compiler has many switches that are easy to use and give lots of control to the user. For example, Fred might be in a hurry, and sometimes less optimization will still yield good results. In these cases, Fred can add a number to minus zero to get a faster compilation with perhaps not as good results as when he uses the most powerful optimizations we provide. In fact, let's look at what happens when Fred adjusts the amount of optimization. When Fred runs his original compile command without any optimization whatsoever, the size of the executable is 1216 and it runs about 16,500 instructions. When Fred compiles with minus O0, the size goes down 80% or so. But you'll notice that the time actually went up. <laughs> Oops. Now we know why the compiler gives so many choices. Getting the best result you want may take some experimentation. So if Fred uses minus 01, the size continues to decrease, but the time gets worse again. Finally, minus 02 and 03 both produce the same result. Fred's executable is the smallest of all, and the runtime is the best we've seen. All of the many compiler optimizations are beyond the scope of this short blog, but you can get a quick and dirty set of compiler optimizations by using the minus help flag. Code Composer Studio has lots of help built in, and there's tons of documentation at ti.com. So in conclusion, don't be Fred. Use optimization when you compile. Thank you, and have a lovely rest of your day. No birds were harmed in the making of this video. If your name is Fred, we were talking about that other Fred, the one not nearly so cool and good-looking as you. Compilations lasting more than four hours is a serious condition and should be reported. Fortunately, there's a forum where users can discuss their compilations to get help, bug fixes, etc. Point your browser at e2e.ti.com slash support slash development tools slash compiler for a plethora of useful community advice. Texas Instruments takes no responsibility for its employees' attempts at levity, although they do stand by the quality of the TI compiler and heartily recommend its use for all your projects.